Good morning. Welcome to this morning service. I uh, hope uh, you're all doing well uh, and that you're staying warm. There was a little bit of frost on our, our my windshield this morning when I came in uh, to the office. Um, uh, it's nice to be able to uh, come into the nice warm hondo uh, where we've had the heater on for a little bit uh, and uh, uh, enjoy uh, this uh, service uh, this morning. Uh, we'll begin uh, with the reading of uh, Sambujo and Jusege.
Again, uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to this morning's service. Uh, this morning we have our, as our speaker, uh, Reverend uh, Michael Jones uh, is our speaker for this morning. Uh, please, Michael, onigashimasu. Thank you, Sensei. Please join me in the golden chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amita's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Well, good morning. I am very happy to be here with you again. Uh, and so I hope you're staying warm and staying comfortable, and I hope you're all healthy. Uh, before I start, let please join me in Gasho. The right teaching must not be lost sight of just because those people are speaking falsehoods. This is also the case in worldly matters, even though manor lords, bailiffs, and landowners are involved in wrongdoing, people should not be confused. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida In the passage that I just read, Shinran, in a letter to his followers, was telling them that they should be careful who they listen to and who they trust to show them the right things to do. Even if people happen to be in important positions, we need to remember what we have been taught, what we know to be right and wrong. This is very wise advice. You know, we're already in the third month of a new year. You may have experienced the adults around you making their annual New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the year. Maybe you've made a few of your own. If you're not familiar with this ritual, this is the way many people try to start fresh in the new year, by either eliminating bad habits that they know they need to stop, or by adopting new habits that they know would make them feel, make them live their lives better. We pledge to join a gym and go every day, or to stop smoking or stop eating many snacks, start reading more books, spend less time on our various devices, and the list goes on and on. It's all about our habits. I recently read a very good book called Atomic Habits, written by James Clear. The author discusses habits and why and how we have them. Habits are not all bad. There are many good habits. Eating vegetables, practicing to get better at something, brushing your teeth regularly, these are all good habits. But some other habits, like eating too many sweets, leaving your homework until the last minute, or spending a lot of time on your phone, tablet, or computer are habits that could make you sick or get you into trouble. Here in the temple, we call many of our habits practices. The way we bow when we enter the temple, chanting, reciting the nembutsu. These are, these are all practices or habits. Again, not all habits are bad. In Buddhism, we say that when, that we want you to come as you are. We accept you, regardless of whether you have some bad habits or not, and regardless of whether you practice as we do or not. So why should we be concerned if you have a few bad habits? For this talk here at the family service, I'm speaking mainly to the younger people. You're just beginning to establish your practices and your habits. I would simply like to make sure that you have an idea of how these habits form and that you have a choice in whether you form bad habits or good ones. 
you know, the way that children learn things is by observing their parents, siblings, and others around them. Adults learn from other adults as well. In his book, James Clear notes that we tend to learn or an, and imitate three groups of people in particular. The first group we imitate are those closest to us, mom, dad, brother, sister, and so on. We see them most often. We're part of the same family, and so we tend to do as they do. You may already realize this, but we tend to imitate what we see them do more than what they tell us to do. So if someone looks up at you from their iPad or iPhone to tell you that you've had enough screen time today and that you need to put your iPad away, and then they proceed to look back down at their device, you may be more inclined to continue watching your iPad since that is the behavior or habit that you see in action. The second group of people we like to copy is them. You know, everybody. Everybody is doing this, so I should be doing this too. Have you ever asked your mom or dad why you need to stop doing something when everyone you know gets to do it? I think most of us have been there. I remember that I said that a time or two growing up. And yes, before you say it, I have a pretty good memory to be able to recall something from so long ago. The final group we follow, and the one that could be the most hurtful to us, is the powerful people around us. We want to be like the smartest kid in class. We want to dress like the best looking or most popular kids. We may even try to imitate something that could hurt us. Like if we're at the gym and we see someone we admire lift a weight that is much heavier than we have tried before, so we try to do it, only to fail and possibly injure ourselves in the attempt. Of course, there are people in each of these groups that may be showing us a habit that would be good for us. The kid that gets the great grades probably studies a lot. Good habit. The person who plays piano very well probably practices a lot. Another good habit. The person who everyone really likes is probably nice to people. A really good habit. I said before that we want you to come to the temple as you are. We want you to be yourself. For the younger people, you are working on who you are and you are, you are going to change over time. And that's just fine. Everything changes. We're no exception. We are always changing. But as you change, as you grow, as you develop new habits, new practices, be aware of where you are learning these habits from or from whom you are learning these habits. Are these good habits? It doesn't matter who is demonstrating a bad habit. We don't wanna follow that example. Use your judgment to decide which are good and which are bad habits. And if you're not sure, ask mom, ask dad, ask a teacher, ask a minister. All of us are part of the Sangha here. We are all here for you. We are all here for each other. All of us may not be demonstrating the best habits to follow. It's okay to ask. Even Shinran considered himself incapable of attaining enlightenment on his own. He needed help. He needed Amida. Never be afraid to ask for help. That is why we are all here together as a Sangha. Please join me in Gasho. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Namo Amitabutsu. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate uh, your Dharma messages. Uh, uh, and uh, for all of us, uh, good, <laughs> good guidance uh, how we uh, shape our behavior and how we shape our lives, really. Uh, thank you again, Michael, uh, very much. Um, next week uh, is our uh, the weekend that we would normally observe, well, not participate in a national council meeting. Uh, we had a national ministers association meeting this past Friday, and yesterday there were several. Uh, there was a town hall meeting uh, and a, several uh, workshops that were conducted uh, in the afternoon. So throughout the day, uh, National Council meeting activities 
had been programmed. And next week, uh, beginning on Friday, the National Council itself uh, will meet. Uh, we have uh, uh, representatives from throughout the country that will convene uh, in our uh, council meeting that will begin on Friday. And I think it will conclude on Saturday uh, with some uh, workshops again uh, in the afternoon. But on Sunday, uh, next week, Sunday, uh, the BCA A Taikyo service uh, will be uh, conducted. Uh, the A Taikyo service will begin at 10 o'clock. And so if you would like to join us uh, for that, and please do, Reverend Dr. Uh, Kenji Akahoshi uh, will be uh, the speaker for that A Taikyo service. We'll try to broadcast it to our regular uh, YouTube channel. So you should only, you should be able to join us uh, for that service by simply coming uh, to this regular uh, channel. If we are not possible, if it's not possible to do that, we're kind of trying to work through um, the, the technicalities of trying to get it up there. But uh, if not, uh, we'll have a previously recorded uh, service uh, that um, you'll be able to uh, enjoy again, uh, and we'll have information about uh, how to observe uh, that A Taikyo service. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be recorded and posted somewhere where we'll be able to uh, observe that uh, uh, A Taikyo service. But uh, uh, what we'll try to do again is to uh, broadcast uh, that service over our regular, normal Sunday morning YouTube channel, and that will start at 10 o'clock. Uh, next week, uh, Sunday. So please uh, join us for that. The following week is our Ohigan service. And we have uh, two uh, guest speakers, uh, uh, Reverend Yukame and Reverend Sakamoto, who will join us for that. Uh, that's us, right? We, we have to do that service. Okay, yes. Well, we'll be doing those services. But uh, in addition to that, during the adult uh, service, uh, the 1010 service, uh, we'll have a special presentation of uh, the Minister Assistance uh, Certification uh, by uh, Bishop Harada. Uh, we'll record that early in the week and uh, run that, uh, play that uh, during our uh, Ohigan service. Uh, really an uh, important uh, uh, milestone uh, for us uh, at the Bitsing. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll have uh, other opportunities to uh, uh, participate uh, in this uh, MA uh, certification with other students uh, becoming our minister assistants. Okay, so this ends uh, this morning's uh, Dharma School uh, service. Uh, please, students, go to class. <laughs> we'll see you in a couple of weeks uh, for our Ohigan service. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.